All right, so the heater control switch went out on the car. And I'll show you how to remove it if you have a problem. But first, check your fuse to make sure it's not the fuse. Tools needed. Ratchet and extension, 7 millimeter socket, and a flathead screwdriver. All right, so come over to the left side of the steering wheel. Remove this panel. Get a flathead screwdriver. All right, and it's popped off. These two screws on the side, you're going to need a seven millimeter socket and ratchet well you will have two seven millimeter screws i only have one it look like i'm missing one and to speed up the process i'm going to be using my drill instead of the ratchet I need to remove this little piece right here you just stick your finger on the side of it. that comes right off Easy. Let me disconnect this wire and harness right here. Come up under. Got a gas pedal and brake pedal. Do the same thing. Seven millimeter screw. And then you got another one right up under here. I'm trying to get it where you can see it. All right. After that, this bottom panel should just pop right off. So once you got all the screws up, you got to go around popping the clamps up out of here. If you don't pop it out of here, you probably just tear up the whole panel. So just make sure you're popping it out. All right, so once everything is popped out, the whole panel will drop. Come over to the passenger side panel and do the same thing. Just pop that off. And you gain access to the two screws on the side. And like I said earlier, you need a seven millimeter socket to remove it. I should have popped this panel off first. And that'll come right off. All right, let's open up the glove box and look for some screws. Oh yeah, I know these screws gotta come down. And so unfortunately, my drill won't fit under here, so I'm gonna have to use a ratchet. All right, so now all the screws out. Should be able to pull this right down. All right, so you would need to drop your glove box in order to reveal these screws on the side. In order to drop your glove box, what I did was I stuck a flathead screwdriver on the side of here and I pushed it in. As you can see, this side got to come out that little slot on the side of the panel. I stuck it in and then pried it and then did the same thing on here. Or you can just take your right hand and just push in on this plastic as hard as you can and take your left hand and push in on that plastic as hard as you can this piece right here that's holding it in will come out. And the glove box will just drop. So let's get on with the video. So gonna the screw. Right on the left side, the same thing. All right, now the panel should completely drop. All right, I'm gonna let just let my left hang a little bit, just enough so I can get to the heater control switch and it's the same thing if you want to replace the radio and so next i just put my hands under this little grip grip from the side and the panel pops right off be careful there's a hazardous switch right here you don't want to break that so just pull it off good enough and disconnect the hazardous harness that's all the clips and stuff that you have to remove if you're worried about where to pop it from that's where the clips are all right, now that I got that hazardous disconnected, I'm gonna just go ahead and remove the screws. When it looks up, it looks like you're gonna have to remove the bottom first. If you ever trying to remove the radio, and just disconnect the harness. Like I say, you disconnect the harness, and then when you get your other ones, 
when you get your new harness, when you get your new um, heater control switch, just plug this harness back in and re uh, reverse the process. Simple. Remove one. Just press down on a tab and remove the other. That's simple. All right, and now you have it. And that's how you remove a heater or a climate control switch on a 2005 Chevy Malibu. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day.